for this morning in the buzz brought to you by the comedy connection if you are concerned about uh, finalizing summer travel plans and costs you are not alone no. because a new survey from insure my trip finds policyholders will pay an average of more than twenty four hundred dollars for a vacation this summer that's right. So this average price beats last summer's prices. For example, a trip to Italy last summer cost about $7,000. This summer, almost $10,000. That's right. The same goes for a trip to Canada, eh? The average <laughs> price uh, last year was just under $3,000. This year, it's expected to cost about $4,600. Now, despite the rising costs, airport issues, and trip cancellations, people are still planning to travel this summer. In fact, 81.4% of people sur surveyed say that they still will go on a trip this year. Yeah, look, I think a lot of people had, had stopped going on vacation, didn't go any place for a couple of years during the pandemic. Yeah. They may have saved, put some money aside and said, you know what, when the time comes, and this will be the first kind of real summer that there's no masks on planes That's or anything right. else. It's just That's kind right. of a free-for-all and you can just go on vacation. So many places were, were having deals, not so much the airfare, but uh, hotels and places like that had, had pretty decent deals to get people to come back. Again. Absolutely, and with gas prices being back down right now right. too, I feel like doing some road trips this summer, a lot of people you know, kind of like to do a little road trip, sure. which we do with our kids because it's a little bit cheaper to do right. that. Airfare is so high, I was telling you earlier. Crazy. I mean, yeah. to fly somewhere recently was about six to $8,000 just for the airfare for our family. Right. So we're gonna drive and do something like that. And a lot of people don't wanna have to put up with the hassle of the airport, having to get there in oh. a certain amount of time, yeah. having to go through security and waiting for and hoping that the plane actually takes off is not delayed someplace because right. if it are is then you're then you're stuck someplace. No, absolutely. There's been a lot of airport cancellations. I mean, now when I'm booking a flight, I'm thinking, okay, let me like buffer a little bit right. on one side because if I can't get home, yes, I can't be on you, air. You can't be on. What air. happens? Right. Well, <laughs> you you need to. Well, first of all, I mean, for a lot of people, if you're even thinking about thinking about going for the summer, if you haven't booked by now, yeah, no, if you haven't booked airfare by now, especially yeah. more than more than anything else, you're probably out of luck. No, it's absolutely. Forget it. It's not gonna. It's, can't go. It probably isn't gonna happen. Can't go. Probably, and that's why a lot of people. Are just gonna they're gonna drive someplace. Although drive Matt someplace just calls. texted me on the commercial break to see if he. Where could, are you going? Oh, I'm not. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, <laughs> it's the Celtics tickets. Oh. He said, you know, this is how much they are. Got it. He's like, what about rather than maybe going away? Sure. Three of us go to the Celtics game. Okay. You know what I said? What did you say? No. Did I go to Taylor Swift? Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh. Oof, oof. So. No. Love. No. So Love. we're going to go to Cape Cod this summer. That's what I think we're going to end up doing. Cape is. But like you said, too, you know, you have to book your hotel or, or something now because a lot of the places, especially in Cape Cod over the right. summer, are busy. They're gone. Right. They're, they're booked up. Yes. It's great. It, it is. It is. It's look, it's a lot of it's a lot of money for a lot of people. That's mm -hmm. why a lot of people would rather just drive someplace and pack up everybody in the Keep car. Keep it easy. And, and maybe even drive to Florida if you have enough. We've done that. Time. You've done. I did yeah, that. Absolutely. 1977 was my last. You save a trip. lot of money. That 1977. Way. The wagon was the last. Last time I drove to Florida, I can't, I, can't, I just can't do that. Uh, uh, Brendan, <laughs> you should have come, come with the McLaren. I'm, I'm planning a lovely weekend getaway to Cranston. Oh, it is nice. Then I'm going to breeze right into Pawtucket. <laughs> it is nice. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Remember when we did that? We went out and took the pictures of me <laughs> on vacation in front of all the yes. signs. Oh, sweet fun. memories. But Will, you love traveling. I love traveling. Yeah, you're well, a I've great traveler. We've been prepared for probably about four or five months for where we're going. And then vacation is already planned for next year. Yeah. I'm hiring your wife to be my travel agent. I know. That's what I was I'm saying to him yesterday. Go. She's unbelievable. I show up, this is what I do. I show up with my carry-on I... luggage. I never <laughs> check oh. luggage. I carry on, and that's it. But at least that's you amazing. help out around the house by, you know, doing laundry. I get laundry for that either. <laughs> Regular Roadshow viewers know Will does no laundry and never so. has. No, never But has. you love traveling. I love to travel. Audrey, Will travels more than LeBron James. Hey, Thank hey, you very hey, much. Like, he really does. The interns uh, over he here. goes to great spots. <laughs> All right, let's check in with our viewers, see what you guys have to say about this topic right here this morning on the Roadshow. Rhonda's up first. These are good plans, staying home, but I like this, remodeling our kitchen and bathroom. Not my ideal vacation, but... She's got to do it, guys. Do it. Sometimes you need to do some remodeling. Me too. Me too. Priscilla shares next. We are heading to no the Northeast Kingdom, Vermont. Oh, the Green Mountain State. Supposedly it's lovely there. Again, this summer for about a week and maybe a few trips to the beach. Weather permitting. Oh, I love the verbal caveat, weather permitting. You can add it to anything. You know, I'd like to come, weather permitting. <laughs> Gail chimes in. Got a few places. Our house in New Hampshire. 
Oh, the Granite State. <laughs> Always a week in Matunic with the whole family. D.C., Virginia to visit friends. Then Amsterdam and Brussels in oh, September. Nice. Lucky very us. Nice. Very nice, Gail. Maybe we could rent the house in New Hampshire. <laughs> and did vintage Rhode Islander fashion when asked where he is traveling. <laughs> Al says simply, Al, and I know this name. We know Al. Three words over the bridge. Over the bridge. <laughs> Be <laughs> lovely, Al. <laughs> Attaboy, Al. A home of rock and roll, 95. <laughs> Thanks for chiming in, everyone. And please keep those comments coming. You know, people ask me all the time. They say, Will, how can I get my name on the show? And I tell them it's very easy. My name is Brendan, and you can follow us at The Road Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you never know, we might read your <laughs> comment right here on the air. Oh, almost. It's a double shot Friday. Still to come this morning on The Road Show.